Hi, everyone. My name is Ingrid Paris Hicklin. I am the producer and executive of Ingrid's World, and I am so glad that you are here to tune in on the television show because I have a special guest for you. We're going to be cooking with Chef Tina McDermott, who is an inspirational chef, speaker, weight loss coach. She has been working in health and wellness industry for almost 20 years. Her mission is to teach about the natural health and wellness and how to live a healthier and happy life. Her inspiration and love of wellness came from her older sister when she was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 23, which ultimately took her life at 47. Her sister's illness and suffering was a wake-up call for her to learn more about how to take better care of her health and help others as well. Tina's goal, and you will find out, is to reach out as to as many people as humanly possible through health, wellness, and exercise, and help make this world a better place. Well, welcome to the show, Tina. I am thrilled. To hello, have you. hello, Ingrid. Thank you so much for having me here today. I am thrilled. I am thrilled. Thank you. Thank you. So, what are we cooking today? Today, what I'm going to prepare for you are salads in a jar. I'm going to show you how simple it is to make salads in a jar so you have fast food right in your refrigerator. And then we're going to make soup in a jar. Actually, oh. today I have bowls, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's okay. I mean, yeah. I, I've actually reserved my bowls because um, I want to be able to make this at home too. So, all right. So now we're going to just go ahead and you're going to start cooking and doing the preparation. So what's our first step? All right, Ingrid, wonderful. Thank you again for having me here. This is so exciting. So, so, so excited. I get so excited. I just love to spread joy and teach people how they can find joy in the kitchen, even if they don't know how to cook or like to cook. It's so, so, so simple. Watch how quick this is going to be. I'm going to make three salads in a jar. Okay. You can make 20 for the whole family. Okay? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Your first step is to make some salad dressing. I don't like the salad dressings in a jar, mostly the ones that are manufactured because they have uh, rancid oils and also MSG and some of them have gluten and wanting to be healthy for the rest of my life and not have, you know, suffer like my sister did. I'm extremely cautious because you don't want MSG. MSG is an excitotoxin, passes that blood brain barrier, goes to those brain cells most susceptible and excites them so much that they die. Wow. I'm done with losing brain cells. You okay. know, I did that when I was a kid, not anymore, right? So okay. it's so simple to make your own dressing. Get yourself some really good olive oil. Okay. Don't get the light. It's not light in calories, it's light in flavors. Get This is one I found from an Italian market up in New Jersey when I went to visit my parents. Now it is one, two parts olive oil to one part vinegar, okay? and or one, one part acid. And that acid can be um, balsamic vinegar, red wine vinegar, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. Choose the vinegar that you like. So it's mm -hmm. two parts olive oil to one part acid. Now, mm -hmm. my husband likes one to one. That's how he likes it. I personally like more olive oil than my vinegar. Today I'm gonna use ah. red wine vinegar. That's, that's me, that's my taste buds. I don't like a lot of vinegar. It makes me choke. And I just like, that's it. I just like do like a quarter of, wow. of the vinegar to the olive oil. Everyone is different. And that's why I call myself the ins lazy inspirational chef, <laughs> because I want you to be inspired to use what you like. You don't have to buy ah. the bottle dressings. Look how simple this is. Now, Love it. what you can do, this is the simplest piece. I'm going to put only a half a teaspoon of sea salt because Ingrid, you could always add it, but you can't take it away, oh, right? Yeah, that you makes always, sense. Yeah, you can always add it, but you can't take it away. And also I use sea salt because it's full of minerals, okay? And we need the minerals versus the highly processed sodium chloride. Next, I'm going to use freshly cracked pepper. 
because people are like, oh, I don't have enough flavor. I don't, and this is how you're gonna get flavor. Freshly crack your black pepper. Okay. Get yourself a grinder and freshly crack it. It's that simple. Okay. You're going to get so much flavor here, so much flavor. Now, what I'm gonna do, I make, it's about two tablespoons per jar, about two tablespoons per jar, okay? Okay, okay. Now I'm just going to distribute them amongst my three jars. Okay, distributed amongst my three jars. I like a little more dressing than most I'm just people, loving so. how you're doing all of this. I just oh, love God. how you're doing this because, yeah. you know, it's like, you know, I don't see the food processor and da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Mason jar, Mason, wide mouth mason jar. I love These, it. I'm telling you, this is fast food that's right in your refrigerator. Now, if you want more than salt and pepper, I get some seasoning. I'm Italian, I love Italian seasoning, so I'll put a little Italian seasoning in there. Or Ingrid, you can get yourself some plain Greek yogurt. Mix it with Italian seasoning, maybe some fresh garlic, and now you have a ranch dressing, okay? Yeah. Super simple. How simple is that? How simple is really? that? Really, and I think we're gonna show our viewers how to make their own ranch dressing. We had the recipe. Good, yeah, good. Love it, love good, it, good, love good. it. So now what we're going to put in the marinade, the dressing, Okay. you're going to put hard vegetables that can marinate. I cut up a whole bunch of carrots earlier. And Yummy. if you want me to show you, if we have time, if you want me to show you how to cut up any of these vegetables, you let me know and we will cut them up, okay? Because okay. I have a, a plethora of vegetables. So you want, again, vegetables that can marinate, vegetables that can sit in the marinade oh. without without uh, getting wilty, because you don't want your lettuce to touch any of that, right? Right, exactly. The lettuce will, yeah, the lettuce will actually cook. The, um, the, the, the oil will and the vinegar will cook the lettuce, and you don't want that. I love olives. Olives are marinated anyway, mm. so I'm going to put several olives in each of my jars. My gosh, I'm salivating. I, do you love olives? I love olives. I Me too. Up with olives. Yeah, I love my husband, olives. Yeah, he didn't eat olives until we went to Spain, and all of his friends were eating olives. He goes, all right, fine, I'll try it. He loves olives now. Oh, my goodness. Loves olives. Now I'm going to put a softer vegetable on top of the marinade, just still vegetables, okay. and I cut up a yellow pepper. I don't like the green ones. The green ones are very difficult to digest, but the orange, the yellow, the red, these are a lot easier to digest. What about purple? What about purple onions? Purple. Oh, onion, yes, you can do onions too. This is a pepper. This okay, is a pepper. That's a pepper. Can, yeah, oh. this is a pepper that I already cut up. Again, I'm happy to cut up anything you want. I just, I pre-cut up a whole bunch of stuff. And wow. yeah, you can do, you can do regular onions. I didn't have an onion out because I was gonna do some scallions. Oh, and scallions, yummy. Do, yep, I was gonna do some scallions. You know. What are you? In, what What's your favorite vegetable that you like in your salad? Um, now I'm cucumbers. Huh. So I might like spinach, onions, uh, onions. I liked uh, mushrooms. Love yeah. mushrooms. Um, <laughs> Look at the face. I love mushrooms. Yeah. I, yeah. That's like my um, olives is like really a treat for me. You know. That's. Oh, yeah. Goodness. Olives is a treat for me. Um, yeah, I, I like all kinds of vegetables. I really do. I, yeah. I don't particularly like lettuce because the iceberg lettuce to me doesn't have a, like a really taste. It has no nutrition either, Ingrid. Oh, so it doesn't what? even have nutrition. Okay, another reason why I'm not buying it. So, yeah. <laughs> but I and love spinach. To... I love I love spinach. Yep. And next, we're going to put in some mushrooms. I freshly sliced them. <gasps> mushrooms. Never, never buy them sliced because they. A, they're not washed well, and B, um, as soon as you cr cut into a vegetable, you're activating the enzymes, and it's already starting to partially um, degrade, okay? And now, softer vegetables now, right? Don't put them down below, because then the vegetable, the mushrooms will get mushy. So I'm going to put a little bit of mushrooms, uh, just because you like mushrooms, we're putting mushrooms oh, in yeah, each thank of our you. jars. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm coming we're, to Maryland. <laughs> we're saving the rest for the soups in a jar. We're saving the rest for the soups in the jar. Next, I want to cut up some scallions because I do want some onions in here. Mm, yummy. Just a little bit of onions. I had a sweet onion, but whatever onion you like. My nieces, they love the sharper the onion, the better for me. I like sweeter onions or scallions. 
Right. What do you like? What do you well, like? Well, you know, That's what you're so going to eat. you know, I am just now venturing out into the onion world, and so I said, I am. So usually, it's always been a yellow onion. You know, yellow onion. That's how I was raised on a yellow onion. Okay. Yeah. So now I said, why well, saw these beautiful purple onions? So I said, you know what? I'm going to try them. So I got them. I've been throwing them in all kinds of foods. Yeah, they're gorgeous. And they're wonderful. Oh, yeah. who knew? You know, any of your purple vegetables, Ingrid, have something called um, anthrocyanidins, and those are free radical busters. You've heard about free radicals in your body. They wreak havoc, and they yes. cause all sorts of issues. And they're missing pieces. That's why they're, they're, they're looking at other cells to destroy the cells to get the pieces that they're missing. And when you eat purple vegetables, you're giving it to them so that they don't have to destroy other, other oh, um, wow. cells to get what they need, the electrons that they need. Yeah, now, so you see softer vegetables, if you want, you can do avocado. I love avocados too. Yeah, love avocado. Avocado would be next. Now, next you can do your protein. Next okay. comes the protein, and if you like beans, if you're vegetarian, you can put tofu, you could put pinto beans, black beans. If you're not vegetarian, you can put maybe do some tuna fish. I don't like chicken so much in a can because yeah. it's very high sodium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, and salmon is underrated in a can. I like salmon in a can. You know what? I, you know, I'm so glad to hear someone is a salmon lover. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I did earlier today is I used my Instant Pot, which is in the corner over here, and I hard-boiled eggs. Oh, I adore eggs in my salad. I adore yes. eggs in my soups. So hard-boiled eggs, super simple in the Instant Pot, peeled really quick. Within 20 minutes, I had hard-boiled eggs from raw to hard-boiled by the time they cooked. And then I put them in an ice bath and then peeled them. So I'm going to put one egg per jar. Next, nice. we're going to put in our lettuce. Now, you mentioned spinach. I have spinach, and I also have a spinach and arugula mix. Have you had Ooh, arugula yet? You know, not really, not officially. I've gone to restaurants, and they've had them. <laughs> but I have been, I've been afraid to go down that path. It's a, it's a bitter green that is really good for your liver. I grew up on, on arugula. This is what arugula looks like. There's a one little tiny piece. Can mm. you see that? Because it's Yummy. baby arugula. The baby arugula is less sharp. My parents grow it. We went up there a couple weeks ago and, and we came home with a whole big basket of fresh arugula that they grew. Wow. And it was adult arugula that's very sharp. So I gave it to my sister and my brother-in-law. Here's a bigger piece. So you oh can see my it. goodness. It, it's very good for your liver. Uh, my husband won't touch it. If, he ha if it's in his salad, he won't eat the whole salad. He's done. And so, yeah, you're gonna put you're gonna put as many as much lettuce up at the top. And if you don't want lettuce, you want more carrots, you want celery, you want more zucchini, you want zucchini, you want broccoli in your salad. Put it in here. This is where you want your greens because you need to be eating 10 to 12 cups of vegetables a day. You know, Tina, I've taken yeah. your class, and you, when you said to 10 to 12, and I'm going like. Okay, so is that like a full cup or is that a half a cup? That's a full cup, dear. That's a full cup. That's a full cup. You're cracking me up. A, oops, I just made a little mess here. That's okay. Um, life is messy. Just wash your hands. That's what I say. Right. Got, I have to have a t-shirt. Life is messy. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Exactly. Seriously. Seriously. So at the top, I, I really like a little bit of cheese. You know, too much cheese could clog, clog you up. Seriously. Um, clog up your intestines kind of thing okay. um, and just very mucus forming so I, I minimal minimal on the cheese but I'm gonna put like a teaspoon a heaping teaspoon of some goat cheese you could use Ooh, feta cheese you nice. can skip the cheese all together you can skip the cheese all together okay so there we go now what we're going to do is we're going to put the lid on it here we go and you notice I have one black lid because I kind of borrowed it from my sister I need to order myself some black <laughs> lids and some white lids. These white lids are not leak proof. Okay. Oh. They're not leak proof. So if you sit them upside down, they just might leak if you're throwing them in a bag to, okay. go, to go someplace. Don't do that. Get yourself some of these black lids. They're okay. Made by Ball, and it actually says leak proof. The black ones oh. are leak proof. Now you can sit these in the fridge for up to five days, and every day. I'm busy throughout my, my day, and I'm sure you are too. You don't right. have time. I went to the pool uh, with my nieces, 
And I only had an hour. It's five minutes away. I grabbed a jar, went to the pool, played with the kids, ate lunch with them, and then came home and went back to work. Super wow. easy, super fun. When you're ready to eat it, turn it upside down. The dressing goes throughout. You grab your fork and you eat right out of the jar. I'm loving it. Don't want to eat out of the jar, dump it into a bowl and eat out of the bowl. Oh my gosh, I forgot tomatoes. Tomatoes can go in the marinade. I love these little, they're like candy to me, these little cherub tomatoes. Candy, I'm telling you, candy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you could put cherub tomatoes in there. I believe I forgot them. So there we have it, Ingrid. Oh Salad's my in a jar. goodness, salad in a jar. Oh my goodness. And we had the directions. Um, scrumptious salads in the jar is what you call it. <laughs> and I'm yeah. loving it. And I and you had all of my favorite vegetables. So oh, we good. I didn't uh, know. Yeah. I just just did it. All so right. now what are we making next? We're gonna make soups in a jar. Okay, soups we have ten jar. minutes. Okay. Yep. And this is a jar that was it was a peanut butter jar. I like the peanut butter jars because a lot of them have that sealed lid. Do you see that plastic sealed yeah, yeah. lid inside? Save them, wash them out. Not all of them have that and save them for soups in a jar. So you don't have to get fancy with your jars. Um, and this is a cover that my sister gave me and I like it because it's gonna be hot, the soup. So it's nice to, to have that. I don't have that on all my jars, just this one. Now, nice. what we're going to do is we're gonna make, do you remember oodles and noodles? Of course. When I was a kid, I think I lived on oodles of noodles. <laughs> And come to find out as an adult, those little packages very likely are full of MSG. And uh, yeah, that's what happened to a lot of my brain cells. Anyhow, I'm going to teach you how to make your own oodles and noodles in jars. Again, fast food. Once it's done, you're going to take it out of the fridge. You're going to boil water, pour, pour boiled water on it. Okay. And let it sit for three to five minutes and then eat it with a fork. Now Love watch it. what I'm going to do. Love I'm it. going to teach you how to do this super duper simple dimple okay okay the base is going to be you're going to say bouillon right okay. now you know i'm really big on avoiding msg right i had lyme disease ingrid and it affected my brain so anytime i touch msg i can't tell you what that thing is in front of my house that i park my car on you know <laughs> so be very careful with uh, broths and bouillons. Make sure that there are no ambiguous words in them. Okay. This is a broth that it's a powdered broth. Hey, anytime you just want a, some bone broth. For, bone broth is really good if you're 45 plus. It's, it's good for your stomach. It's good for connective tissue. It's good for okay. your skin. Okay. And it's a mess to make yourself. Trust me. It's a mess to make yourself. So I always get it. I buy it and I make sure that it doesn't have MSG in it. Okay. Your bouillon, make sure that it's organic. Otherwise, it's very likely that it does. Now, this oh. one is, an, I'm going to show you two others, okay? Two others. This one is called, it's organic, better than bouillon. Better than bouillon. They come vegetarian, too, if you're vegetarian. And this one is chicken flavor. This one's chicken flavor. And it's liquid, Okay. It's, it's a liquid bouillon. I'm going to put a, tea, a heaping teaspoon in there. Okay. Okay. Let me get that off of there. And now for our third one, I'm going to show you something really interesting. It's called miso. You've had miso soup, yes? Yes, I have. You can, miso is not necessarily uh, only soy. This is a chickpea miso. Basically, hmm. the miso has been fermented. Or the chickpeas have been fermented into this paste. This is my favorite one, by the way. It's all, the jar is almost done, you can tell. Uh, this is a paste. Now, you yes. don't wanna make soups with it. You, like the last, oh, this soups in a jar is what you wanna make. You don't wanna use it as bouillon at the base of a soup because it will destroy all of the fermented oh. um, enzymes that are in that. And so there we have it. Don't add any salt to this either because there's already salt in the fermented miso, okay? already salt in the fermented miso. So there we have it. We have a, a, the very, very start of a base. Now we're gonna continue with our base and I'm gonna put a little bit of toasted sesame oil. I just, just a little bit, like maybe a half a teaspoon. I just want a little flavor okay. of the roasted, to, uh, toasted, roasted, no, it's roasted sesame oil. Be careful, Tina, there you go. You don't wanna put a lot. Next, if you want, you can put some hot pepper I mean, a hot, pe uh, yeah, a hot pepper sauce, hot okay, sauce. Okay, okay. Whatever hot sauce you want, put a little dash. I don't like it. I'm not going to put it in. I have it out to show you. Okay. 
Next, you can put a little bit more flavor if you want. I, um, I don't use soy sauce because it could be genetically modified. If it's not organic, it could have, and soy, has, soy sauce has wheat in it. And I don't want any kind of gluten, has gluten in it. So I'm going to try coconut aminos or organic tamari sauce. Tamari okay. sauce is organic, um, it's wheat free. So always get the organic so that you don't get ah, the genetically modified okay. organisms that you're going to get in a lot of soy. Genetically okay. modified organisms are going to destroy gut bacteria, the good gut, but gut bacteria that you need to digest food and to process hormones and for brain health and everything else. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of tamari sauce in there. Mm -hmm. I think I put a half a teaspoon. The coconut aminos have the same effect almost, but you know, I have it out, why not? Put a half a teaspoon of some coconut aminos and you're gonna get some really good enzymes. And en enzymes are really important, Ingrid, because they help you digest food. Enzymes are really important. Now, what's next? What are we gonna put next? We're going to put Ingrid's favorite vegetable. We're yes, going to put some mushrooms, mushrooms in there. Mushrooms, yep. Thank We're going to put you. some mushrooms. <laughs> We're going to put some mushrooms in there and each of them. And why not just fill it up with mushrooms? And what else are we going to put in there? We're going to put some scallions. I'm going to chop up some more scallions. Let me move this so I can, you can see me chopping up some scallions. And so we have about all of three minutes. <laughs> Oh, really? I know. Where, where did the time go? This is a half an hour show, and we're zipping on by. And, oh, that's um, okay. I'm going to finish this for you. I'm going to finish it really quick. Is that okay? Can just, I finish it? I'm just loving it. Yeah, I'm watching. I and know. we're showing the directions. We are putting on the screen the ingredients for the instant cup of noodle. Uh, yep, I'm going to put a hard-boiled egg. You can put chicken in oh, there. You, put you can whole, put whatever. You just you... threw an egg in there? Oh, my gosh. I did. I love threw it, an egg in it. there. You can cut it up or you can just throw it in whole. Next, I'm going to put in some noodles. They're called My Fun Noodles. They're very thin noodles. You don't want thick noodles. You want thin noodles. Thin noodles. But if you want, you could always spiralize some zucchini and oh have my that goodness. as I your love noodle. That. As opposed to make it thinner. There's a thin side. This is called a vegetti. I, I suggest that everyone in the world get it themselves well, a vegetti. Well, put me down for that because I'm going to have to look for that because yeah, that's there's a vegetti. And then one more thing, I'm going to put some frozen mixed vegetables. Peas, corn, string beans, peas, corn, string beans. There we go. And lastly, I'm going to throw in another one of your favorite vegetables, some spinach. Now, what I'm going to do with the spinach is I'm going, uh, this spinach I am going to chop up really small. I'm trying to do this super duper duper quick. I'm going to make this super thin so that when you put the water in it, oh, it's going to cook anyway, but you want to be able to fit it on your spoon. Ooh. Okay, so there you go. So it's spoon gonna friendly. Put, I see. Yeah, you want it spoon friendly. I kind of did it really rough. I had a little fun with it here. And that's it. You're going to put the lid on it, put it in the fridge. When you're ready to eat it, Ingrid, you pull it out, you pour hot water on it, be patient, wait three, four minutes, and then eat it. This is how you're going to get your vegetables in your life. Here you go. Oh, you my Soup goodness. <laughs> it, it, but you know, it was, it was, you did it so fast. And I love it. So for our viewers, they see the ingredients, what you can layer it in with. Um, how long can I keep this in my refrigerator? What's the shelf life? Five days. Five, five days. Five days. No more than five days because it's got a hard boiled egg in it and it's got chopped up vegetables and such. No more than five days. Yeah. No more than five days. I like the fact that I don't see uh, any preservatives are in the year or things that I'm worried that it's going to break down. And I think that that's like so powerful. Um, Tina, what I love about you is that you're showing us how to cook food fast, healthy, and easy. Yes. Especially yep. for a non-cook. Uh, any, <laughs> any words that you want to say to our viewers before we end our interview with you? Yes, thank you for asking, Ingrid. You know, I fully believe that we are here on this earth to experience joy in our lives. We're here to experience joy and to spread joy and love to everyone in the world. And what better way than to feed everybody? And that's what I like to do is to feed everybody wonderful, healthy food. 
And I hope that you are inspired to do the same with for you and your family. Oh, you. you're inspirational. Thank you, Tina. You're fantastic. Thank you, Ingrid. Thank you so much. So I'd like to thank again Tina McDermott for being on Ingrid's World of the Sus, cooking fresh and fast and easy. Our inspirational quote is from Marcus Samuelson. Simple ingredients can be used to make elegant dishes with just a little attention to detail. Well, I hope you enjoyed the fun that we had in the kitchen. And this show, this show was truly a joy to produce. Please remember to connect with me on Facebook at IngridsWorld.org and follow the show at Ingrid's World VA and Twitter and Instagram. And if you miss an episode, you know what to do. Watch the show on Ingrid's World LLC YouTube channel or IngridsWorld.org. Thanks for watching.